Hello, YouTube people. My name is Cynic Sam, or just Sam, however you prefer. But um, I'm just gonna give you guys some background on the game I'm playing right here. Um, SND Search and Destroy with my trusty MP5K extended mags. I am rushing for the most part, and I have I get a ni very nice score. At the end, I won't tell you it just yet. But right now, I'm just gonna continue on with the gameplay for a second. I'm just rushing. I figured it's early in the game. I might as well go plant it. But the thing that's basically what I was just going to explain. <laughs> um, the thing I'm going to talk about a little bit for this video is just tomahawking. Because that's my quote unquote passion in the game. Or what I do a lot. I have roughly 2,500 or 2,500 tomahawk kills in this game. Which I think is pretty nice. I haven't seen someone yet higher. If you have a higher one, let me know. But um, <clears throat> just, yeah, comment. You have more. I'll be impressed by you. <laughs> But, um, what, oh, Tomahawks, right. <laughs> the thing, the good, really good class with it is Marathon Pro, uh, not Slide of Hand Pro, uh, Warlord Pro, and Scavenger Pro. For, I'm just going to explain the reasons, and I, like, my perfect class setup of choice for this. <clears throat> and here we go. Uh, Marathon Pro, I would assume you all know, but it's so you have, well, X, um, what's the word? Well, just more sprint, and then with a pro unlimited sprint. So if you're running around with tomahawk and people only, or just rushing with tomahawks, because it's like a high five, boom, tomahawk to the face, they're dead. But what you, what you want to do is, yeah, have marathon pro and warlord pro, obviously. Well, actually, not too obvious. A lot of people don't know this, but um, the pro version gives you two prime, two lethal grenades and three tactical grenades, unless it is smoke or nova, because Smoke or Willy Pete, you only got you only have one of it, no matter what, unless you scavenge it. Explain that in a second. Um, <clears throat> but then for Warlord Pro, you have like an, an extra one: stuns, concussion, or st concussion and flashes. You already have two of, so then you get three. And then for what's it called? The f the flashes. Sorry, you have two, so then you get three. And then for Novas, you already have you only have one, so then you get two. Wheelie Pete's, you only have one, but you only get one. It's probably just because, I don't know, they, they don't want you to have an excessive amount of smoke or something. But, um, <clears throat> sorry for that. They, which they as in Triarch or producers, developers, I don't know who, but reason behind it, I do not fully know. Anyways, and then Scavenger Pro, this allows you to, well, the Pro version allows you to have more stuns or concussions. I personally like concussion grenades, which are stuns, <laughs> because you can throw them quick. It stuns the other person. They can't run. You can, if you need need be, you can tomahawk them quick. Makes it really easy. Um, it flashes. You can use, but it takes a while for the person for you to throw them, and then the other person's flash for a good amount. But you can't tomahawk them quick enough, in my opinion. If you can do it somehow, make I don't know, the flashes. They they go the fa the speed they go. But alongside that. Concussions are my favorite. Novas and smokes with tomahawking, I would not recommend. But if you want to try it, go for it. Up to you. Um, besides that point, oh, just right now I'm speeding it up because I didn't feel like cutting it out. Sorry. <laughs> um, I could have spectated someone else, but I just, yeah, there we go. We're back. <laughs> um, yeah, you, what do you want to do though for tomahawking? You want to mainly run. First, you want to flank them. So run around either the side of the map or whatever. Unless you want to be like, not dumb exactly, but just not as strategic. Because if you run right in the middle, you can get as many people as you need. But that goes like, to everyone. if everyone goes in the middle, you're probably going to die. <laughs> so run around the side, you can tomahawk them easy. What I like to do, I don't like to hold tomahawks, so I just, if I, someone's in distance, I hold it, try and line it up. I just try and go quick and tomahawk them. I, I think it gives a little more prestige to the, or just... Not quite prestige, I don't know the word I'm trying to say. <laughs> but um stuff just like you hold it and then you let it go right onto the person, I feel like it gives you less value. Unless you just do it then triangle or Y and tomahawk them again. But anyways, that doesn't matter too much. That's just my personal preference. But with that said, you for randoms, random tomahawks. If you I'm just bring this up too. If you want to do random tomahawks or just I'll maybe make a video. I know there are tons of them out there, but 
on very common spawns, I will I can do that probably for easy videos. Um, well, for just example on Summit, what you wanted right just sorry, but right here. Okay, there we go. I paused it. I think in theater. I'm not too sure why, but anyways, uh, what you want to do for Summit, you just want to walk forward a little bit and throw it straight up. Not completely straight up. You can, but by that time, the person, the enemy, has probably already moved forward quite a fair amount. But if you just move forward, throw it up a bit, it's really up to you how far you throw it up. I know for me, when people get randoms, I'm just like, where were you? How did you throw it up? Give me the exact spot. But chances are, with the exact spot, you're not going to want it because then, like, it's, 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 it's all luck. No matter, even in one of my videos I mentioned, I got, uh, I knew where the guy, I knew the perfect spawn spot to throw my tomahawk. But I did not know if he was going to be there or not. But So I got lucky and just threw it. Um, that was on radiation, by the way. But for this map, you just run for... I'll show you once it spawns me again. Right here. Uh, there we go. Like right here, right next to the blue barrels, you can toss it up, maybe a little forward. But if you do that, be careful because people often also throw randoms from the other side. So you may get... You may be the lucky death for the other guy, but... That as that may be, <laughs> it's in. Well, I don't know. It feels like a waste of a life because you just want to throw your tomahawk, get out of there. Or if you do throw your tomahawks, you got warlord. You don't have warlord, then you don't have a tomahawk for that life. So if you have warlord, I recommend either throwing only one of them or just both, and make sure you can use your gun efficiently to kill the other people. Um, that's just a little bit about tomahawking. I'm just gonna finish off with talking about the gameplay right now because it's. It's almost done. I think about a minute left. Um, so right now I killed that guy. Someone was telling me, "Don't take this spy. Don't ca don't take the counter spy plane. It's a trap." But I killed the guy who threw it, so I knew it was safe enough to try and get it. Right now I planted. My buddy had actually joined the other team, which was fun because I wrecked him. But then he get wrecked me here. Um, the gameplay. I paused for a second to switch to his perspective because I didn't know he where he was shooting me from. So I started just. Well, you'll see in a sec. I just started, it's kind of embarrassing, but it's pretty funny. I just started spinning, or running around in circles. I didn't know where he was, so what can you do? But this is the gameplay. Hope you enjoyed my two cents for tomahawking. I will give you four cents next time, if that makes sense to you. But um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you comment, rate, subscribe, check out my channel if you want. Um, If not, it's all good, but I appreciate it. I made the video for you, so if, you know what? You don't want to, it's okay, but... Hope you enjoyed. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye.